Welcome to day two of the virtual seminar, Recharging Asia Inclusive Growth and Sustainable Development Amidst Post Pandemic World. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Somkia Tri Ratanapan. Excellency Mr. Satvinder Singh, Deputy Secretary General for ASEAN Economic Community, distinguished participant on behalf of the Executive Board of the International Institute of Trade and Development, or ITD, I have the great pleasure of welcoming you all to the second day of the Trade and Development Forum 2021. The first speaker of the day is the Deputy Secretary General of ASEAN for ASEAN Economic Communities, who will be here and take us to know how to recover strongly from COVID-19. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his Excellency, Mr. Satwinder Singh. And we have to ensure our supply chains remain connected amidst the uh, pandemic. And also we need to make sure that our markets, you know, are open and we are allowing our businesses to have access. And I think this is where all the leaders in ASEAN are committed towards. What I'm noticing is, well, most parts of the world, have you will know that most parts of the world, they have actually moved towards greater protectionism. We are going to fire up from now. But just like I informed you earlier, I'm not qualified. I'm not good enough to be your moderator. So we will pass on this duty to someone who's better than me. New technologies, automation, AI, robotics, and their in their production. In addition, people have turned to digital payment and digital banking. The government has used the digital payment channels as an important channel to distribute financial support to people who are affected from the COVID-19 pandemic. Turn the crisis into an opportunity by preparing the businesses to recover better through new areas of business, BCG or the bio, circular and green economy. So in addition to establishing the first Business and Human Rights Academy in Southeast Asian region as a formal training and consulting ground for business. If we maintain the transportation of wood from one province to other province and lack ready for the exportation if we maintain the logistic supply chain. So that the government required the provinces and even the ministry had to first facilitate the good transporting. Apparently it's not just in finance, not just in banking, but also in agriculture. Digitalization is uh, quickly taking place uh, in Malaysia. FDA and you, you know, you can talk with uh, Pfizer people. And of course you can make deals and say, okay, just approve everything and we'll be okay. This is something that I think we have to be careful. You know, in some of the uh, poorer countries like in this area, we, we should be looking at herbal medicine. Today we go into focus on ASEAN Modern Jusur. And for the commission papers today, we have two experts on aid for e-trade and BCG model. They will talk about e-commerce, that we always say that e-commerce is the only solution for every business right now. The law government need to further uh, develop legislations on the same direction with the uh, ASEAN Economic Community Blueprint and ASEAN Work Program on Electronic Commerce. This is the model system, essential energy to drive the economics and social development and enable Thailand to move closer to the sustainable development goals. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you to you two for joining us today and thanks even more for those who have been with us for two days in a row. But before we are saying goodbye today, please let me allow you two things. This virtual seminar is not done yet. We still have one more day tomorrow. I hope we, we see you again tomorrow at 1 p.m. I won't be here, sadly. So please take care of yourself and if you can, come back again tomorrow. Goodbye and thank you. Thank you. And please, stay up to date with us via the web on our website, www.itd.or.th, as well as on social media via Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and enter ITD Live in the search bar.